Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech and welcome to the React Native Beginner Tutorial. Alright, so in this course, we're using TypeScript and Nextpool. TypeScript is because it has become the popular framework or choice of most JavaScript developers. Alright, so I'd like to say before we continue that if you are new to my channel and you have interest in mobile development and PC tricks, web development, consider subscribing. Please like this video, please share and comment as well. All right, so what at all is React Native? So essentially, React Native is a JavaScript framework or library that is used to build mobile applications. But it is used to build apps for both iOS and Android. So with one code base, you can write code that works well or works fine on Android and iOS. So it comes to this philosophy of write once and use anywhere or use everywhere. Okay, so why then React Native or why should I choose React Native if I want to learn mobile development, say in 2024, or if I want to learn mobile development as an absolute beginner? Okay, so we have this cross-platform compatibility, just as I said earlier. So you can use one code base for both Android and iOS without any significant tweaks or changes. And it uses JavaScript. So if you have um, knowledge in JavaScript or in React, or if you have knowledge in TypeScript, since TypeScript is simply vanilla JavaScript with types for type safety, you are good to go. So once you have knowledge of JavaScript, you are good to go. And also React Native offers access to native features. So native features like the device camera, maps, GPS, etc. And React Native has a very large community support. Since React Native is built on JavaScript, and we know that JavaScript has a very large community support. So React Native has a very large community support. So if you have any issues and you just Google, you can find solutions to it. All right. So React Native also comes with this hot reload compatibility. So when you're working on a project, when you're writing React Native code and you make a change, boom, instantly you get that um, change um, appeared on your emulator or your device. All right. And React Native is a component based um, framework so it works just like react so you can use um the chunks of code you have in your code base and copy paste and put it somewhere you can so basically you can reuse your code and most of the big apps like facebook or this tech giants use react so facebook uber eats airbnb they all use react native even google uses react native Okay, so these are some other competitors of React Native. So we have Flutter from Google, we have Xamarin, we have Ionic, we have Zencha, we have Swift UI, and the rest. But then we'll be focusing on React Native for this one. Alright, so here are some prerequisites before taking this course. So you need to have a fair idea of JavaScript and um, the methods that come to JavaScript, like these array methods. And you need to know react since react is the web version of react native and you need to have node.js installed you need to have android studio and vs code installed on your machine all right so i'll show you and i'll leave the links to downloading or getting node.js android studio and vs code in the description all right so to download node.js so visit node.js.org and you can choose any of this but you can go with the recommended one for most users and then that for the android studio so it's developer.android.com so you can go ahead and download android studio it's less than one gig it's just like it's heavy because of the other things that will be running in the background and here is vs code to from code of visual studio.com it's a lightweight text editor and once you have vs code installed you can go ahead and install this extension so in the next video i'll be working you through some of the extensions you'll be using for this course but in the next video is going to be some typescript basics all right so since we are all set let's move on so what will we do in this course at all so in this course we'll be looking at some environment setup so i'll work you through step by step guide in setting up your react native project using typescript if you are not familiar with TypeScript, no worries, I'll work you through some basic TypeScript for taking this course. So we'll be doing some basic installation of what we need, like the extensions I made mention of earlier. And also we'll be 
I'll work you through React Native components. So we'll be looking at some of the components or the core components in React Native. Um, we'll be looking at some UI libraries. We'll be looking at um, the basis of React Native, basically. All right. So we'll be looking at, we'll be doing some fundamentals of TypeScript in React Native, just as I said earlier. So some of the types you need to add to your code so that you, are, um, you don't get this error warnings. And for our course project, we'll be building a to-do list app. I'm considering adding um, a backend as a service like Firebase to it so that we make this fully functional. So once you are done building this app, we'll be, I'll, be, I'll, I'll teach you how to build an APK or an Android app bundle. That is an AAB file. And I'll work you through doing the same for iOS 2 as well. So we'll put this app on the Google Play Store. And I'll work you through some best practices. So some of the um, things you need to know during development and after development, like testing, how to debug your code, and how to build APKs, and the UI libraries to use, how to work with packages, and the do's and don'ts of using packages, etc. All right. So I hope and I pray that you stick to me. So you stick with me to the very end, and trust me, you will enjoy this course. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like. Please comment. Please share and subscribe. Bye.